potential to, to crush this PL before he gets out of hand. Bonged? The voice of reason for Na'Vi, potentially? Unfortunately, no. I'm going to go with EG <laughs> this time. All right, fantastic. Well, I am not going to spoil this one. I guess I will be heading over with EG as well. We've just seen Dendi on that Viper and have not uh -oh. been too impressed. So, Caster's Curse coming up. Congratulations, Na'Vi, on your first win. But let's take it on over to the teams. Hi, Blitz. Fancy meeting you here at Dream League. Had to pop over real fast. You're such a talented man. I such thought they were going to give me like a second. Like they would zoom in on Yeah, me. they did nothing. Like Slacks didn't even help you at all. This it is does. the problem when we have an inexperienced host. Red Eye SOS is coming out to you. Get off camera. Ca mm. no. I, I see. I, no. Get away. Get away. All right. Let's go into the game. So Navi versus EG. People turning yeah, out in the crowd to support them because we saw the Navi CS team there. Mm -hmm. They're already guaranteed a oh, top the four position. It's the Navi CS team. They're guaranteed a top four position. I actually looked it up. So Navi in both the Dota as well as the CS are guaranteed top four. But everyone on the panel didn't really seem that Navi was going to get off to a very good start here in game one of this series. So the main reason I think that is because I saw the v the Viper versus DK matchup in China. It was Limp versus uh, Super, and DK actually bodied Viper surprisingly badly. Also, sorry guys, no Bulldog. I took his place once again. Bulldog had to catch a train. He did us a solid though. Thanks for he being did. on. Yeah. Same to Loda. Qual quality to have the Swedes turn up to the Swedish event. Yeah. So, we're talking uh, on the panel about PL taking some time to get on. How can Navi at least speed up that PL's progression? Do you do you try and do it by shutting down the Luna more to give PL at least the advantage on that front? Or can you create space for PL in other ways so he just farms generally faster? I think PL is going to play kind of on an island to himself. But as I say that, I, I feel like Na'Vi, they want to take fights early on with this kind of lineup. And you can play PL in two ways. We've seen it in China too where they speed up the course of the game. Is General a Batrider now? He's actually got into the tree line ready to cut through with this Quelling Blade. Yeah, Fada does the same thing. This is pretty common now from the offlaners. Might be a little bit more difficult when you have the potential nightmare of of fear and the high amount of damage with Arteezy having the Luna Blessing to make this pull work. He's going to pop out in one second. Arteezy's going to yeah, see he's, him. He's already ready for it. So how much damage can they do? So you already start with the body block. You don't want to go for the nightmare. You're looking for the extra damage. Okay, he's no, actually going to do it. He'll take the aggro off, Fear, beating into him in general. Oh, Drunken Haze all you want. Oh, they lost a courier. Yeah. Oh, sniped it. What a beast. <laughs> There's like a tri-lane mid going on. What the hell is this? How sad. You know what? Not Mil must be so <laughs> sad right now. <laughs> well, here comes Crit, trying to turn things around, but Roger's going to get the bar strike off. He kills the courier, and now he wants to kill the damage. The damage. Crush, Roger! He's going to go down. Samael is awarded the kill. What was that? Uh, is this going to start off the same way as game three of, of our lower bracket round two matchup? It's the tri-lane on tri-lane. Yeah, tri-lane on tri-lane. Rotate around. Now General's in trouble up on top lane. Fear as well as Arteezy are going again. Another Nightmare will set up for a Lucent Beam. The Kuri can deliver all at once. General, the Lucent Beam, the Drunken Haze won't protect him. Fia will find this kill in EG a 2-0 up right now. Yeah, they shouldn't be like this though. I think there was some miscommunication because Soneko didn't pop the shackles. Maybe they thought that that was a guaranteed kill or something like that. Also could have just leveled the lightning and that would have been enough for them to get the kill, but uh, unfortunate, doesn't work out. I think he was in range for right click too. I don't know, I have to watch the replay before I call him out. But that felt like it should have been a kill with three heroes there. Seems odd. At least Roger was able to pick up the courier. They're coming in again for Samel. Roger, he's got boots and a level one burrow strike, but he would have had to tank to the tower to get that close. And Dendi just can't do a hell of a lot when he's got a six second cooldown on that poison attack. Yeah. And, and Samel's got two points in dragon blood now with his doubt shield. They're still winning bottom at the same time. So this is not a huge commitment, Roger. Gonna snake around, try to uh, grab some Crit, gonna get the crush off. Universe, bringing in the extra damage. Thanks to the purification and Suneko. Well, he proves the shackles work. Yes. And now it's a 3-0 lead early on for EG, and they're gonna need it. They are getting dueling once again as Suneko now comes in for Sumail. Yeah, start the shackles onto that Dragon Knight. Dendi 
And, and he can't really damage. damage that much more. <laughs> like, he's still two points of dragon blood that you're trying to get through. Wait, Sumel so turned around. Oh, wait, what? Why? Oh. Question marks? It, it looked like for a second he was fine and they were going to give up on it. And so he, he, tur he turned to get back into the lane to no, like, what, breathe fire? Like, or? I think it was just pathing. He definitely just pathing did. So the lane was going pretty well for him, despite the dual trilane shenanigans that he has to deal with. Yeah. Which has to be pretty annoying. Well, Dendi is 4-2 like. compared to compared to Samael at 9-4. So yeah. He has 4 CS. He has 4 CS on Dendi. He spent most of his time attacking into Samael. This will change up as there's creeps coming underneath the tower, but Samael's not making it easy oh, for Dendi. Look at Roger. Try to smoke all the way around. They wanted to make attempt number two. Top lane general. Gonna get picked off. This seems to be the easiest thing in the world. It's Nightmare. I like guess early harassment, the Nightmare sets up for a secondary Lucent Beam. Yes. Arteezy's yeah. burning through a lot of man to do this, however. And that's the benefit of playing these tanky offlaners. You just come back up here again, and he's almost the same level anyways. So it's not even like he's losing out too much. Meanwhile, though, Universe is thriving under these conditions. Yep. Due to the fact that they're doing... Here they go again. Crit. He's charging himself forward, then runs into a Crete Wave and Crystallize, and then charges himself away. Yeah, but Soneko is pretty low. He has no regen on him. Uh, the Phantom Lancer has a Soul Ring now, so he should be okay when it comes to out spam. But things are looking pretty okay for EG. They're up four to one. No huge advantage one side or another. Sumail is out CSing Dendi mid, and this is what I was talking about. Uh, you would think that Viper dominates this matchup, Toby, but mm -hmm. he really doesn't. DK just gets two levels of the Dragon Blood and a Soul Ring, and you are regen the harass anyways. They're they're thinking about going again on top lane. As he starts his harassment on general, his fear looks to wrap around the back, but then Roger moves over too. And they'll know when fear... Actually, they don't know exactly when fear leaves the lane, but here comes Roger. Sandstorm. A big advantage for him is there is only one hero that can pull him out of this, and that's Slaughter with his crush. But that double damage rune Slaughter is looking for an opportunity on bottom against the two soul ring spamming cores in the lane. Yeah, and Universe. Just trying to get whatever he can. Almost level 5. Looking back towards mid, Sumail up to 20 CS, almost doubling the Vipers. Looks like they want to make it go on this. Dendi getting kind of low. He's about half HP, but Crit doesn't find the angle. Again, that need to dive underneath the tier 1 tower to find the kill on the mid hero. And EG should be fine with this for the moment. There's still 1k gold in front. There's 4 to 1 on the board. They don't need to force the issue too hard. No, they don't. Like, this lane is going fine anyways without the kill. Yeah. Which is what was expected. Instead, they can look to add pressure on top. So, Na'Vi have no vision of this. They're, as far as Observer Wards go, they've only got one, which is watching the bottom rune area in the river. So, the movement towards top in this position of crit is completely unknown to Na'Vi. Actually, pinging to Shrine. Samael needs to use it. Cheesy getting continuously hazed up, but... They're smoking. They're gonna smoke up with Samael's crit. No, Samael's actually just gonna back up. Crit had the smoke delivered. Yeah. I think he was just healing with him. General, loose and beam, fear. Not gonna come out now. They'll try and catch General in the tree line. South cancelled off by the attack of Arteezy. Slow him down here. Comes Crit Roger. Needs to create some space. Barra striking into Crit, but this sleep lasts forever on General. The crush will be there, and Roger, all he can do is Sandstorm. But support comes in from Snake Sandstorm Roger's and Shackle damage. Crit's gonna fall down. There was nothing they could do to stop it. Now the Lucid Bean comes up cooldown, but Roger with the Barra strike. Snake turned around to cop the last attack from Fear. Trying to do something, but a just giving his life at the end of the day. Yeah, well worth it for EG once again. 6-2 to two now in their favor. This Brewmaster getting somewhat shut out as he's not doing as good as his bottom lane counterpart, the Omni Knight, doing very well for himself. Already fourth in the net worth, even passing up Dendi, who's having a pretty rough time in mid. <laughs> and now a smoke gang from EG. If they find the angle, they want the tower too. As Nightmare lets Samael set up. Crit's gonna be here. He can wait for the double crush, but Shackles available from the Shaman. The Burrow Strike from Roger catching two. You've already lost Crit. Samael with the Viper Strike on him. All those points in Dragon Blood it will protect him, especially when Universe has already TP'd in. Fear goes to the high ground plant, trying to play the Fog of War against Roger. Mango consumption, and they have enough life. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, barely. Walk away. But still, very nice rotation by Navi. They sense. That's some kind of aggressive maneuvers coming in. EG, they wanted to try to use the dragon form 
early on, get some chip damage onto that tower. They do force Dendi out of the lane, but they get a return kill, relatively even, even though the score says 3-6. to six. Not too large of an advantage one way or another. 1k is just the tower. I want to keep my eyes pretty closely on this top lane. Now the General has level 6, he can uh, have a crack at RTZ support is rotating around the side in the form of the Shaman, but thanks to Dire Observe Ward, EG are fully aware of this, and there goes the Eclipse to Nako. Do you really want to be shackling him? I don't think you really do. That's, the, that's when you want to have a Wind Ranger shackle. You just throw the shackle and walk away, not stand your ground into Eclipse. You don't know what he's into. Oh, if you're into your own de death, then sure. Yeah, yeah, you do that. Never judge, Toby. Never judge us. General up at top is forced to use the split. He was worried about Arteezy triggering one charges and then having the Lucid Beam that would have found the kill, but now he's going to make it work. Oh, Dendi's the Earth Ruling Stun's going to be there, and yeah, support's coming in from Dendi underneath the tower. Support arrives from Universe. They'll keep him alive. The stun's repel is allowing Arteezy to survive and back behind the tower. That Viper awesome. Strike does not do anywhere near enough damage, and Arteezy just TPs away to safety. Yeah, and Sumail, two seconds away from his own Dragon, he really wants to pop this. Even if you don't get the tower, you're trying to do damage to it, you should shove in the wave as soon as possible. Start beating on that mid tower, force Dendi back, and, and get some kind of trade off for the bottom lane, because that's where Crystallize comes in behind the tower. Yeah. Make sure the crit can't really do anything here. He's hoping his Tranquil Boots to give him a little bit more life. Now, Fortify to protect. And here comes Arteezy. But oh, Arteezy gets lanced. And now there's more PLs to fight him. They are going to give some XP to this Bane, who is pushing in top lane with Universe. Continuing to static up the lanes, both Dragons in mid. Just fighting against each other. Now Dendi starting to catch up a little bit. Do you think EG can fight once the Fusal Blade is on the PL? We saw just how critical that was in our series earlier today. Uh, I think they have better ways to deal with it. Oh, Roger. Barrow Strike, gonna go into some mail. Sha stun. Anything? No. No, nope. didn't have it. Uh, Nightmare's gonna be on bottom lane. PL, the attack. Cartesi doesn't have his ultimate. Had a loose and beam, wouldn't it be enough to kill off Crystallize, but would have dropped in, dropped in very low, allowing crit potentially seal the deal. Oh, nice entry, Ward. <laughs> yeah, it's an echo. Might even get sandwiched here. Arteezy's moving in with the creep wave. Should be nowhere for him to live. Quick shot, crush, and purification from Universe to get the kill. Four heroes being brought by EEG to this bot lane. Will allow General, though, to get some farm. Finally, Toby. Yeah. He's still not that bad. As far as net worth goes, he's... Okay, he's equal with Dendi, but I just realized that's not really the greatest person to put him equal with. No. Uh, <laughs> considering Dendi is about 600 net worth behind that of the other mid. But so now Echo has level 6, they're going to add their pressure towards me with the Mass Serpent Wards as well as Catapult here. So, Navi looking for a rebuttal for the push on bottom lane, Roger. The double bar strike into Sandstorm. Universe at least can purify, but they can't keep the push going. Slaughter is in mid, trying to deal with the Mass Serpent Wards, trying to help out Samael. But the Catapult will stay alive, Crit wants to move in closer, will have his clarity cancelled. And they just play the range game now. Support. Arriving in the form of the Bane, Fear. Doesn't have his level 6 just yet, wants the Fiend's Grip, but only has the Nightmare. Oh, and then Nightmare the turned off the target around Crit, being Viper striked up. The Purification will do some good job here. But the mid tower, still going the way of General. Yeah, they missed the... And Snake go. They didn't even get all the, the snakes. And General just got a lot of farm there. Yep. So they took two tier 1 towers, lost the Shaman but force heavy rotations from EG. No, and EG great. didn't take the tier one tower on bottom. That was very nice. Despite the score being three to nine, the gold lead because of the towers is slightly in favor yep. of Navi and General almost has his blink dagger. Uh, despite being zero three zero, this is a very decent blink dagger timing from him. Conversely, Universe has been shuttered around the map. Like he's had to go from lane to lane to try to stop the bleeding. And it has worked out so far. He's one zero two. Radiant the only downside is he's now equal, in fact, just behind the Brewmaster on yeah, net worth. Yeah. So they're going to smoke up and see if they can find some more net worth through kills. Three-man rotation down bottom. The Radiant scan, it just pinged positive. So Roger should be aware that someone's coming towards him. Observer Ward behind the tower. They'll realize Roger's alone, and there it is. Sentry Ward, Lucent Beam, and Fiend's Grip. Making it look almost too easy. But crit mid. 
They might make an attempt on this Dendi. He's moving forward. Crit has no idea that this is happening. going to use the shackles to make sure there's no run away. And okay, just eat the shock. And uh, Piper Strike, more than enough damage to kill him off. Both four positions going Dyer's down, but EG is going to be the team to attack. claim the tower at bottom lane. In general, meanwhile, up at top, Toby, he just continues to farm and now picks up that pivotal blink dagger. Yep. Now we look for the fight. And again, you'd also look for the smoke. And there are no smokes currently on Na'Vi. Did they use them all? Radiant I believe so. Either that or they just haven't bought them. We have no ability to actually look at that as spectators. That is... I wish they fixed that. Yeah, I really wish they would too. We've been asking for a long time. I'm but... just guessing at this point. But yeah. they used a lot of them early. Yeah, they did. So we, we assume they burned through them all or else they would have had them, have them on them. Because you get a blink dagger timing like this, you want to make it count. Yes. You've got split up. You're ready to fight. The Fuser Blade is the only thing you're a little bit short of uh, in 600-ish gold. The PL will have it, but they can run to the bottom lane. So Arteezy, probably the most exposed. Fear is nearby. Down He's trying to take the gank from him. Yeah. Maybe he can do it, but they focus. Na'Vi down towards Arteezy. The Barrow Strike is there. Quickly into the split. Na'Vi want to turn this into multiple kills, so Fear makes a break for the tree line. Roger right behind him. Nightmare's there, but Lancers and Rocks being thrown down at the Bane, stoned in the trees. He at least brings up a little bit more life up, and he cannot escape. Not from Na'Vi. Meanwhile, Shaman died all the way up on the top lane inside the trees. Looks like he was just trying to push the top to the tier 2 tower a little bit harder. Just kind of a Seneco move to make. We saw him make it in the... I can't remember which series it was, actually. Was it versus VP, where he just kept dropping down wards onto them? I think that's what it's, I'm recalling. I'm not certain. But he just wants to keep that top wave shoved in constantly. It doesn't really matter if he dies. He didn't care in that game either, although he's got a lot of deaths, Toby. <laughs> it's 0 for 6 on today. He's going for the Malka ward. Mm. That's what this has to be. It's not even bad, though. They have yeah. 6 kills, he has 6 deaths. As long as you give the control when it needs to happen, the Master Serpent was near the buildings, then you're good. Yeah. And they're looking for a kill up on top, Roger. Level 3 Burrow Strike available, make that 4, now he hits 9. Brew Master jumping in, but Crit makes it to the tree line. TP Scroll is available, how does he actually want to play this? They Burrow Strike the wrong way, Crit will just TP out! And he's so close to his Blink Dagger too, him surviving there is really important for them. But the reason why EG's lead, even though it's 6-11, to 11, is more than half their kills are on the Seneco. <laughs> Oh, they're going to take a tower now in bottom lane. After the failed gank from Na'Vi, they revealed a lot of their positioning against the slaughter. So, fortification can be burned from Na'Vi, but with Dragon Form up and running, and a lot of heroes sitting behind, GA is ready. If Na'Vi initiated into this, it's looking to be death. Yeah, and Seneko's just looking for the trade right now, Toby. He's going to drop the wards up at top lane. Somebody def definitely needs to defend that. They're going to back up first. Well, DK has a TP scroll available. Slaughter's already rotating over. But here comes your first TP. It's going to be Universe. And there they go. They're looking for him in the same spot he died before. <laughs> Trapped in the trees. We'll get the shackle off as some has arrived. Was came that the same the, spot? Came into the shrine. It's maybe five meters away. Okay. <laughs> so they, they know his tricks. They watched the, the VP series. <laughs> yeah. They did their homework. Like, guys, this is what Seneco likes to do. Uh, he, he did it like like three, four minutes ago. Roger, up, moving over, looking for the Barrow Strike, able to catch out Fear. This actually reveals a big stack as well. Fear, no way to survive this, but this is a good place for Crystallize to move over unless Crick can make something out of it. Lose some beam. Crystallize just tanking it. But they have the Observe Ward watching the stack. That's what allowed them to do this fight, but Ichi also have a very similar ward right to the south of that Radiant Obs. So both teams have good information around this now trip stack. I think they should just farm it right now, as soon as they can. Like, uh, they know that it exists. You got the you four points up in Glaives as well. Arteezy only put the one point in Lunar Blessing in this game. I like that they're securing it too. That this is what they should do. Because Na'Vi's aware of it and they're showing. Yeah. But they're going to smoke up. General needs to connect with them though, if they're going to take this fight. Like it's it's hard. They, do anything. they just had the Observer Ward dewarded, so they don't have the information. Yeah, Master keeping, was not there. Here comes your smoke, Roger. Look at that blink epicenter. He's prepping it right now. Jumping in, Those. looking for Arteezy with the Barrow Strike into the Sandstorm. He gets away from the Slither and Crush into the corner. Maybe Roger amplified up. Will die. The stack, they however, they're looking at it. Dendi started to farm this with Nether Toxin. That won't work. Roger will die. The epicenter was not enough. There was no follow through. Yeah, that was a huge commitment too from Na'Vi. They brought every single hero there. They smoked up. They used the epicenter. And they're still going to lose it.
out. Like, they got an Observer Ward down around the corner, so Na'Vi at least had vision of the low ground around the Ancients, and they still know it's being farmed up. Hey, but look, because they had to place that sentry on that camp, Roger really got them. <laughs> okay. That was his real next he, level... Because he blocked his own camp for yeah. another 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Technically, they might lose more gold getting that kill on Roger. That's how you play, like, 19D chess. Only I thought four minutes ahead. Exactly. All right, there's no way he was trying to do that. Though. <laughs> that was not the best death. No. Well, Navi are preparing for the top lane push once more. Sonaco's mass weapon wards are off cooldown, and they really want to have these in range of the tower. Maybe this time they can keep them alive. Crit's already here to defend. But thanks to the observed ward of Navi, they do have a decent amount of information. Sonaco just inching forward. The and dire tower. They're pinging out where they where they believe they are, and they're right. This is a good read. Although they see Roger, now General pops up. I think he's going to drop the wards again. Dyer's yep, they will. This is so smart. They're just chipping away at it, and Dyer's EG, they're not bothering going top, thinking it's going to be a little bit too late. They're instead yep. going to go into the Roshan. This would be huge for them, the amp damage. You said every team turns into a Roshan team when you get that slaughter behind you. And they will do some quick damage. Oh, they have no idea. They think they're running towards bottom. Dendi's getting out of there, thinking... Yeah, they're there. Yeah, you're right. It's not a smoke gank, though. They'll realize the inevitable truth when the announcement comes out globally. Uh, TZ has Aegis the Immortal, and Dyer claims Roshan. Very nice Oops. move. Read that wrong. Yeah. And the reason why Na'Vi made that move was because they saw nobody was defending that Tier 2 top, and they said, well, if nobody's defending Tier 2 top, they have to be bottom. They have to be bottom. You saw the pings, a line was being drawn. They're like, guys, they're smoking there. Well, there's another objective on the map, too, that they can go for. Yep. Oh, well, Dendi's still going to be very happy with this like it's it's not an underfarmed viper like we saw from him earlier today he's managed to finish up the dragon lance he's got all his extra smaller items at the beginning but that maelstrom is also almost up and he's not having to deal with a phantom lancer either while playing this viper so it seems to be a lot more of a comfortable viper game just to stand his ground even though that might be difficult as the number one net worth hero oh, bottom the Luna. Roger's and, been found out too. Oh, in the corner. He needs to help out into the Sandstorm. Burrow Strike, Dragon Knight. Already the TP Stun. out. And the crush is there from Crit. Even the bash on the first swing. Dendi will die. Well, cast his curse. Sorry, we really Dendi. got him. <laughs> and Seneko for the first time not playing that topside map. And without that pressure there, EG, they're going to feel pretty strong right now. They pop the Dragon Form too. Looks like they're looking for more. The Ooh. blink barely misses as Roger was half a second faster. You guys on the panel were flagging it. Crit. Radiant Such great movement that comes out of this Slada. Even more amplified with the new changes to his sprint in water. They go after Roger. Moving in towards the Ancients while the Brewmaster, stunned up by Samel, need to keep that control there. Fear will provide while the Eclipse will destroy. So Arteezy takes both the tower oh, and up. general, but yeah, meanwhile, up in the far north, Crystallize battles against the dragon. Oh, he dodged. He dodged the free fire, and Samal's completely out of mana. Nice. Does he come back in? Like, do you keep Radiant this pressure on? No, you attack. don't. You TP back, and you continue to work on the manta. Yeah, you force EG to push out top, and that'll be what allows you to reset things a little bit. But I think Na'Vi should still look for fights. Like, they have Bruce split. They don't want to just get crowded around the map. This is what a lot of teams do with the first Aegis, is they force you into the sense of panic where you don't want to fight, and so you split up. You get split up a little bit more than you should, and the team with the first Aegis often just farms out the entirety of the map. So, Na'Vi, I think their best bet is actually to stick somewhat near each other. Be a little bit smarter about that, and realize that EG might be split up because they have the Aegis. Oftentimes the Aegis is just a tool, Toby, where People get nervous about fighting because they think they'll five man, but it's very inefficient. And EG is not an inefficient team, so you notice that Navi are still looking for the five man because they're under the assumption that EG have split up. Yep. For now, they're not even getting rid of that uh, sentry wall. They don't want to reveal their position at all. Okay, now they do. Yeah. If they get a good fight though, they'll take it because they see two heroes at bottom. Arteezy. They scan though. They ping. It feels like bait. Feels very much like bait. Crit and Samel will come from the south. Fear and universe. Into the east. They don't want to fight up into the high ground, though. What they're trying to do is force EG down. And they're even going around. And Na'Vi, they get a little bit antsy oh, here. Yeah, they come. Who finds the better angle, though? 
And the trees, Samael, smoke's gonna break. He'll go in, Viz. Nico's got the dust. They'll get the hex onto Samael. Massa oh, stopped down the epicenter. The great position. And with no epicenter, they won't have the extra damage. Samael is protected by the repellents and Nico. He's dying at the moment, but not dead yet. They hold Arteezy in position. Universal gets some extra life, but Arteezy hexed up. Then finally he'll pop, but it's only the Aegis of the Immortal. That is all Na'Vi have managed to claim from this team fight. Well, the Brewmaster split is now worn off. He has to blink away General, but Crit and Arteezy hop pursuit need for speed into general down he goes three heroes from navi they're gonna go high ground now yep this is a perfect situation and navi got so antsy i feel like that was not the fight that they wanted to take if you lose that fight you're right in front of your base and dragon form was popped you can't script this any better for eg they did lose the Aegis, but a very nice one by them as they read that movement perfectly navi thought that eg might be split up farming their southern side of the map they didn't anticipate them Let's take that fight. There's no team fight defense without the epicenter, without the Broommaster split, and without the mass open wards. It's really not that intimidating fighting into Na'Vi, but EG will give the respect. They bring the tower down to half-life and then back out. It is still only 23 minutes into this game. They don't want to fight in Na'Vi's base just yet. Yeah, and that was just such an awkward fight because Na'Vi wasn't really prepared. They didn't have the best vision around that area. Look at EG's ward coverage. They've got one on top of this oh, ancient dude. hill, one right below them, one on the south side too, even deeper. And Na'Vi, they got completely spotted out. It was that Roger epicenter that got cancelled out by Fierce uh, Sleep. And they needed that. If they have that damage, maybe they can win that fight. Na'Vi are coming. Fury even stopped de-warding the sentry in order to be able to catch up, uh, get away from Na'Vi's attack. But they were even anticipating to come earlier. EG are prepared in MIP. They don't have Guardian Angel, but Dragon Form's back off cooldown. So is Eclipse. Brewmaster split in eight seconds time. Epicenter in four. So the big abilities are coming back up for Na'Vi. But there's still so much sustain in Evil Geniuses. Once Arteezy has that BKB, it seems pretty rough for yeah. Na'Vi to win a fight against EG. And it gets even harder. Uh, Sand King... The downside of Sand King is... Yes, you have a reliable stun. That's like the best part about him. He's got an escape, he pushes in the wave, but his ultimate is so timing dependent because once people start getting BKBs and pipes, this ulti does nothing. Yeah. That was what we learned at uh, ESL Genting when we played against Newbie. We started to realize like this Sand King ult isn't really doing anything. Once you get BKBs, once you get these heroes that are naturally tankier, he doesn't provide that much teamfight utility. It's kind of like a... Oh, Samael, no ready to fight. He's already got the silver red, so just breaking him apart. Roger will fall. The Diakuri does get sniped and now crystallized. Needs to make more of himself. The Shackles will hold. And it's trouble for Samael, trapped on the edge of the pit. There's no life to work with. His invis, he can't use it. There's no if mana. He can get to universe. The from fear will create space. Universe will protect him. Samael will live and turn the damage into Seneco. They can't even kill off a bloody dragon on that low life. Arteezy on the retreat. The Brulings controlled up for Crystallize. Keeps the power moving forward. Samael back into Invis underneath the shrine. They'll get the regeneration up. Omni Knight spinning up and towards the area. Hook the deck in a second, but Crit! The double crush combining now with the DK. They hold him. Oh, look at they fear. hold him. They bring down Crystallize. The big number one of oh, Na'Vi. And they are coming after Dendi. A blink crush. The corrosive haze keeping the implication there, but EG. Maybe not certain they want to fight this. Dragon form is wearing off. They're underneath the Radiant Shrine now. He'll be triggered. General, as well as Roger, working together. But Fear, he'll find the damage to get the kill. They come back over to Dendi. The Nightmare is a reality, Dendi. EG are walking underneath your Tier 1 tower and murdering all your friends. They've triggered Guardian Angel. No damage to be done. And now V, they drop like flies. But they also just respawn like him too. And Dendi did not accept Roger's sacrifice. Roger died, went in there for him, thought there was no way he was going to get dove under that tier 1 tower, but EG looks up, sees three heroes dead, says, no, we're definitely going to dive you, there's absolutely nothing left for you in the tank, and EG getting even more, 9k now is their lead, as maybe if they kill the Luna and they just back up, yep. that fight's okay, but they got a little bit too over eager, they felt like they were getting a little bit too far behind, so they try to press their advantage, EG though is ready, very nice team fight from them without their highest net worth hero, and I'm, I'm wondering what happens when Crystallize continues to get bigger and bigger. Like, EG had troubles holding him back. Yes. Like, the fight was nicely split for EG. I think uh, 
the almost ravage level control the crit was providing for the fight also bought space for EG to fight. But what do they do when this PL gets stronger? Once he has the Scardy done, once he starts building up a lot of these stats. I think if he gets absolutely six slotted, maybe he becomes a problem. But for now, anyways, the Glaives, uh, the Breathe Fire, the Omni Heal, they have a lot of AoE to work Ooh, with. Crit. The illusions are running forward, crit still pretty damn low. They had the Manta illusions, they'll survive longer, but Brewmaster, he'll need to split, but Samael is to breathe fire. They should go for the high ground now, try to force out the buyback minimum if they think he has it. And he does, but forcing it out here is great. Oh, Dandy, he's out of position. Oh, he's Chris really far out. Go. He's got the sprint, the blink into the burrow. Roger's oh, now out too. Repel, it allowed crit to actually survive. Arteezy, he brings out both Dendi and Roger, and there is no buyback on Roger. Dendi may have to force his the second that tier 3 tower falls, however, the Glaives just rip apart everything and if EG feel confident enough, they can just rotate towards the bottom unless they want to go for GG push, but that ain't happening. They, they should go for the second lane of Rax. Yeah, they're trying to go bottom. They saw that the roster wards were used by Seneko, who's trying to cut the wave, but EG said, we don't care. We'll just go bottom instead. It doesn't matter. Navi's not even getting involved. Crystallized BTs only just came back off cooldown. He could only now start his TP back. This is the danger against the EG Draft. Luna, at this stage of the game, just rips apart any type of base the second the tower falls. Yeah, and it was this one cart that snuck his way in. War hero for EG, <laughs> being able to survive. That's what enabled uh, EG to continue that with no backdoor protection. And now they're going to get Roshan. Aegis and Cheese. Support's coming in. How fast can you move, Roger? Not fast enough. He had to blink and bar strike to get in straight away. Instead, Aegis and Cheese will be picked up by Luna. Actually, Cheese ends up in the hands of Crit, but they look to mid. Nightmare, the Fiend's Grave, Brewmaster, actually broken again by the Silver Edge, and 53 seconds for Jennifer on the sideline. Right now, Navi is bleeding yellow, and that's not a good thing. That's a lot of open cuts. They're just getting picked apart on the map right now. They're trying to make these desperation plays, showing wherever they can on the map. Right now. Has been killed. Well, he'll get that. Four staff down. That's a little bit of a win, but EG say, well, we don't care. We'll just march down anyways. We'll go for the GG push. They're going for the tier fours. That's easy as Aegis the Immortal. Now we have no other choice but to fight, but they need the Brewmaster up with my bank too. So here she comes, triggering it off 23 seconds before he was going to respawn. So EG are happy with this heavy damage into the tier fours that don't regenerate, and they back up from the fight. Probably go ahead towards top, if anything. Don't risk anything if you're EG. It's a best of three. Anything can happen in this game too. We saw that in their series against VP. You don't throw this kind of lead, although it's very difficult for them to throw this kind of lead. Nobody is really farmed enough to fight. General's Brewmaster has just taken a nosedive when it comes to net worth. Yeah, Arteezy is firmly on top of the scoreboard. 6.8k 6 6 .8K net worth so on the Brewmaster. Fortunate. He's got Blink and Vlad. That's all General offers to these engagements. And he had such a good start, too. He had something like a 12-minute Blink Dagger. We thought he was going to be able to yeah. accomplish more, but the first two smokes... Well, there was no smoke when he got the Blink Dagger, right? I say smokes in uh, air quotes. <laughs> yeah. That was fire. They, they burned the corpses of Navi. It was that one fight, though, when they tried to take the top engagement and they ran all the way down. EG just transitioned that into the high ground. But Navi, they're going to try to hold the high ground, see if uh, anybody from EG gets a little bit Dive too antsy. Ah, Teezy's happy just to push this. He's got a Morbid Mask, he's already got the Butterfly. Like, what got stopped was his Hurricane Pike, which was coming on the Courier. But sitting with another 2.6k gold, Ateezy has already cracked the 20k net worth 31 minutes into the game. He's well ahead of anybody, even against Sumail, 5k ahead of him, a full item. This butterfly is going to be hell to this deal is, with. This is the Navi play. They four man smoke up. Roger wants to be able to initiate from behind with the Observer and Sentry. They've got good right vision. Now. And now, do they work it out? Fear is scouting it. He saw Roger for half a second. Here comes your epicenter. They're controlling the back line and the split. No! He got Vegas the sleep. And nightmare off and, and the, the speed script. They couldn't get oh the my. split. Get style, Navi. Roger will fall. Two heroes gone and GG indeed. That's spirit breaking right there. And Arteezy. Doesn't even, might not even realize what happened. Fear's probably so amped, he's like, did you see? He's like, nah, I was taking uh, back your creeps, dude. <laughs> oh boy, Navi.